Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. For designers that are both hand and machine knitters, the Graphics Studio can be used to convert your own pictures and photos into usable stitch patterns. It will also convert black and white line drawings, magazines from charts, and punch cards. For hand knitters, a useful part of this program is the conversion of charts from magazines. Today we'll be discussing just this, how to convert these magazine charts directly into stitch patterns that will be ready to lay out on our garment piece. Let's try this now. In order to get a magazine chart into the computer, you first need to convert your magazine chart into a computer file. Take your chart and lay it face down on the scanner bed of your computer. Scan in the design and save this as a graphic file. The conventions in a new session of Design It is that it looks first in the My Documents, My Pictures folder. I'd like to select a snowflake pattern to knit by hand. We're going to knit this in two colors per row and we're going to be carrying the alternate yarn behind our knitting. I'm going to say File Thumbnails. This brings up the chart. I'm going to cancel out of this. I could have also said Open a Graphic here and this brings up the same chart. It looks in my documents and then my pictures underneath my documents. Let's cancel this and the third thing that we can do is we can say open up the last five documents that we've used and I'm going to say this magazine chart. Okay. Let's turn on our grid settings button. We know that this is 24 stitches wide and it says here that we have 28 rows high grid corner corners move independently. This is because it might not have been scanned in quite straight. OK. Turn my grid view on. And we can see that the lines don't match up. And in fact, if we use preview conversion, we can see that it does not match up at all. And the reason is, is this is going from one side to the other side of the graphic and not from the chart one side to the other side of the chart. So we need to do that. We need to select the open corner. It is open red and move it into position by grabbing it with my mouse. I can also use my arrow keys and my tab key to move to the next active corner. I find it a little more accurate to do it with the tab keys and arrow keys at the same time in combination. And you can see how these are coming into place. And that looks pretty good. It looks like most of them are in the grid, and the grid is lining up nicely with the chart outline. Let's say preview the conversion, and this is exactly what we want. So I'm going to say OK to continue, and this will convert our stitch pattern, and then exit out of this part of the program. I don't need to save these settings because we only have a black and white diagram, so I'm going to say no. Now it's going to ask us what we're, how we're going to be knitting. I could knit this on a punch card design or on an electronic machine easily and say that it was Faro, but we decided that we were going to knit this by hand. We're going to knit this flat, which means we're going to knit each piece separately, not circularly. OK to continue. And now we have our design. And if I said view repeats, three repeats and three repeats vertically and horizontally, you can see that this is what the design would look like. Thank you.